Number 11 and 4 and 1 Notre Dame at number 17 and 4 and 0 Duke today for Fighting Irish Preview and FightingIrishPreview.com. I'm Phil Hauk, and these are my final thoughts before kickoff of today's game. Uh, first, let's talk about Duke's quarterback, Riley Leonard. Dual threat guy, 6'4, 220, 68% passer. Uh, Led the Blue Devils in rushing last year. He's second on the team in rushing this year. He's a handful. Uh, now, Indy handled a similar quarterback a couple, three weeks ago in Brennan Armstrong of North Carolina State. Uh, Brennan Armstrong, maybe not quite as accurate of a passer as uh, Leonard has proved to be. Uh, nonetheless, uh, the Irish handled Armstrong pretty well. I think Al Golden will have a good plan to keep him bottled up today. Uh, maybe bring some pressure, hopefully force some bad passes out of the hands of Leonard. And uh, and hopefully the Irish, if they get those interception opportunities, don't drop the balls. That would be a, a big step forward after last week. And speaking of interceptions, let's talk about turnovers. Under Mike Elko, uh, Duke has turned into a uh, plus turnover machine. Plus 16 last year, that was second best in the whole country. Uh, this year they are plus five. That's fifth best in the country. Uh, Mike Elko kind of specializes in this, uh, and it, it was a real turnaround because Duke was one of the worst turnover teams in the country before he arrived last year. Uh, let's uh, hope that trend does not continue today. It's something to be to guard against. Uh, I think Notre Dame's the, the better team as long as they don't turn the ball over, but that is certainly a risk against a Mike Elko coached football team. Uh, Notre Dame really good at protecting the football this year. No interceptions and uh, two, just two fumbles on the season. Let's hope that continues. And, and let's talk about attitude of this team. Uh, losing like they did last week, you know that can do. You know that can go two ways. Uh, the, the psyche of the Irish can go two different directions. One, it can it can be a negative, and uh, it could be the type. It's the type of devastating loss that maybe the Irish uh, just don't recover from very quickly, and they go into a bit of a funk. We actually maybe saw that in a Notre Dame team, uh, the way they came back after losing to Ohio State last year in the first game of the season, and then. Uh, you know, Marshall and Cal, they, you know, losing to Mar Marshall and, and then Cal uh, just eking that one out. It took a while for the Irish to get back on track. But I, I don't think that's going to happen. This team is, uh, Marcus Freeman, for one thing, has learned from that experience last year. Uh, so I think the, al the alternate thing happens to this team emotionally. I think they're angry. I think they, and and, and we're hearing that, I, that they're angry. They're angry that they let that one slip away last week. And so they come into this game maybe with an anger, a uh, little chip on their shoulder. And an angry football team, my friends, is a dangerous football team. 72 degrees uh, and no rain at kickoff tonight. Good weather in, in uh, Raleigh-Durham, North Carolina. And the Irish are five and a half point favorites. Uh, and I am counting on an angry Notre Dame football team tonight, and I expect the offense, especially the ground game for the Irish, to roll. Uh, that offensive line really started to gel, I thought, last week for the Irish, and they're as good as anybody in the country, I think, along that uh, offensive front. So maybe Audric Estime has a big day. The Fighting Irish preview pick, Notre Dame 31 and Duke 20. I'm Phil Hauk for Fighting Irish Preview and FightingIrishPreview.com. Hey, go check out FightingIrishPreview.com. Uh, lots, uh, lots of new changes on the website. Uh, it's a fresh new look. I think you're going to enjoy it. So check that out, and I will talk to you after the game.